Welcome to my live. And for those of you watching, this one's for you guys, especially for the small business type dojos or whatever you want to call your schools, gyms, studios. I mean, to to the average to the average Joe, it doesn't really matter. So, a little food for thought here. Have any of you ever taken a look at other martial arts schools' websites and thought about how similar it looks to the website that you run? Because maybe maybe you see differences being a seasoned martial artist which let's be real here anyone who spent enough time in martial arts is going to know the difference almost like immediately but again the average joe does not see that difference to them we are all karate to them we are all mma to them we are all something or other that they use as a generic umbrella term for martial arts and that's what today is all about See, the problem with website copy is a lot of small business dojos tend to be super generic. And this is a major problem because, like I said before on how we all appear to the average show, that kind of enforces the public image of putting all martial arts under one roof. And, you know, if I'm going to be extra real about this issue, the fact that a lot of martial arts are all coming together in some kind of convergent evolution really does not help this case. And here's why it matters. Say you have a really strong offer, one that's you know problem specific to a to one niche, right? You could have a USP basically, but if your website can't really express that USP, you're going to lose out on the other side of marketing, which is your potential organic reach. So, okay, let me state what a USP is. That's a unique selling proposition, which is direct response marketing speak for what gives you the edge over the competition. What, <clears throat> okay, so let me get a little more specific here. Your average American nowadays has about, is gonna put about as much priority into whatever you've got to say as they'll give to a Super Bowl ad, which is not very. In fact, if anything, the Super Bowl ad might even win out sometimes. So you want your USP to be the one thing that if you were to say it out loud, would pretty much stop your audience dead in their tracks and get them to shut up and listen to you for however much time you can buy with your next like 10 or so words. And it's, and like I said with this question, what gets your audience going to you over any other alternative. For a lot of you, for a lot of instructors, that can be a personal brand. But that's a different story. Because see, your audience will have will always have different options. And this is where I kind of try to shy away from teaching martial arts and emphasizing, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a teacher. This is where I kind of shy away from emphasizing the fitness aspect of martial arts because in that case, your competition isn't just other martial arts schools anymore. It's also the big box gyms and even other gyms with very specific programs that guarantee, that all but guarantee a certain result. So what gets your audience to go with you over doing anything else, over going to a big box gym, over going to Bob's Bullshito down the street, over doing nothing even, you know? How do you do that? <clears throat> so the other problem with website copy is because you're trying to get the reader to actually sit down, shut up, and go through what you have to say, it's supposed to be a really great place to rearticulate your exact offer. And the problem is for a lot of martial arts schools, website copy is almost always all about the goddamn credentials. Now, 
credentials do matter, but you have to establish enough rapport to get your to get your audience to sit down and go, okay, tell me more. Uh, why why you? You know, I mean, this offer sounds great and all, but why do I want to listen to you? So, what do I mean by credentials? Here's the standard credentials list I see of a lot of martial arts schools. There's the instructor's credentials. You know, they spent X years in this martial art, got a black belt in that martial art. And, uh, you know, they've gone to like three tournaments and one gold in all of them, something like that. I can go on. There's also the credentials of the martial arts being taught. And <clears throat> every smaller level, every localized dojo I've ever looked up is guilty of sin of this issue. Because it's great to give the credential of the martial arts being taught, but that only matters once that once the first sequence is taken care of, once you've built that rapport, once you've gained their trust, and you need to reinforce that trust. And it also shows the credentials of other programs like fitness classes. And that's where things become a bit of a slippery slope, a bit of an uphill battle, if they have other alternatives for that specific benefit. Like, again, big box gyms. So how do you solve this, right? Like I said, website copy is great to re-articulate your offer. And unlike your traditional sales page where it's basically one long scrolling sequence, website copy has this very has a very unique structure to it where you can actually break something like long copy up into sections you know you've got your home page you've got your about page you've got the classes you offer i can go on about that but this is where you want to be able to make everything more for lack of a better term readable because your website is kind of on the back end of any kind of sales funnel and you know, unless they're just like randomly popping you up on a Google search. <clears throat> websites are great for giving the kind of details that you could not give on the front end. You got to treat it, again, kind of like a sales letter. You, you want to establish your credibility on what you offer and how that helps them. I could break this down a lot more. But right now, I need to give way more specific examples. And I think one of the best I've ever seen was Tiga Tactics' website. One of their one tab on their homepage actually caught my attention, and it said, you know, why we're not like your sensei. That was brilliant. That already is like, okay, hang on, I got to check this out because, you know, they're saying they're different. What's the difference? And then they lead right into a video to explain, which is great. I love that. If more martial arts schools can establish their own unique selling proposition, their own selling point, in that way, or something similar enough to really articulate the difference, to really let their audience know that what they're doing is completely different from everyone else, your copy, your website alone could probably kick a whole lot more ass. I'm just saying. So that's all for website copy today. And, you know, stay tuned for the next live cast. In the meantime, yeah, you know what it is. I've got my Ask Me Anything coming up. And it's in four days. So for those of you, for those of you who are martial arts instructors who teach Southeast Asian martial arts, if you have any kind of marketing questions or concerns, this is your chance to put me in the hot seat and interrogate me until I say, I don't know. Because, see, this helps me help you in many different ways. For one thing, you guys can give me good ideas for my content and also expose any gaps in my knowledge so that I can come back, show you what I've learned, and let you apply it. So then that way you can get those kick-ass enrollments. As a bonus, if you RSVP that you're going and you PM me your email address, I'll give you two frameworks I made for copywriting and email campaigns. So here's the thing. 
these frameworks demand that you know your audience to a T, like, you know, creepy stalker-esque levels knowledge. But once you do, the frameworks should give you a clearer picture on your copy structure, even if you're a complete beginner. And it should help you set up working email campaigns to regularly talk with your audience without getting junked by the, by the automatic filters. And again, it's in four days, so I'll see you if I see you.